I was sitting at my desk at work reading Outside Magazine when I came across the ad for this grant. It got my wheels turning and I was thinking, if I really could do anything, what would be my dream trip? I've done quite a bit of traveling around the world, but I always find myself coming back to this place. I've been coming to the Boundary Waters my whole life and consider it a second home. Three years ago I began working at the Outfitter to be as close as possible to the wilderness, but still haven't had a chance to spend more than two consecutive weeks out there. When Liz called me up with the idea of spending five months in the Boundary Waters in Quetico, I was like, well, yeah. Liz, Luke, and I all met at Sawbill Canoe Outfitters, my family's small business. Because of Sawbill, I was able to meet some of the coolest people and have the wilderness literally out the back door. I've been making films since I was a little kid. I hope to combine my passions to show that the Boundary Waters is more than a spectacle, it's a way of living. The three of us have been doing trips in the Boundary Waters for most of our lives, but we've only covered a small percentage of the parks. The Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness and Quetico Provincial Park contain almost 2,000 lakes and cover over 2 million acres of land across the Minnesota-Canada border. The only way to visit this area is to enter through 100 or so designated entry points. When we were deciding how to approach this trip, we thought, well, we should obviously go to all of them. In a place where inclement weather, forest fires, beaver dams, or water levels can dramatically affect your route in a matter of hours, this will be no small feat. With no roads, no motorized vehicles, and definitely no cell phone coverage, this is real wilderness. On this trip, we want to go full circle, not only by circumnavigating the parks, but by trading the city life for a life of simplicity for the full cycle of the paddling season. Yeah.